And it's, uh, I'm glad they're coming in because it means y'all are actually doing the work. So, but we're going to call class short a little bit today uh, because Anderson is having, and I didn't know this, when easily had, y'all had to get connected last Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday. I didn't know that or I would have let us go early then. Put the date in. Check your name. Um, so I apologize for that, but we're going to probably get around 11. Don't y'all go to 11.35? Go to 11. We go to 11. Okay, 10.45. I might let y'all a little bit early before it starts. I think it's starting. I don't know. Well... Okay, so we got some to go over. I don't know what we've went over, but I think these are new because they're darker. So I'm going to just cover these. Well, I'm going to cover, like I say, I don't know what's old and what's new. I mean, look at the dates. I'd see some of those are new. What's today? January of what? All right, then I'll start at the top. And I'll go over maybe these last four or five right here because these... If today is, what did you say today was? So that means last time we were here was 15th, right? So I'll cover these top four just to make sure I covered everything. And then we'll go from there, okay? So I'll just start from here. Rationalizing. Okay, this is one that we went over, but I'll go over it again. Here we've got the ninth root. So that means that we're going to use x to the 8th power because we're trying to get the radical. We're trying to do away with it. So I'm going to multiply here by the ninth root of x to the 8th power over the ninth root of x to the 8th power. Oops. And that will give me the ninth root of x to the 8th power over the ninth root of x to the ninth power, which is equal to, that cancels with that, and that's equal to 9x to the 8th power over x, period. Okay, the second one, 1 over the fifth root of x to the second times the fifth root of x to the third over the fifth root of x to the third. Why did I pick x to the third? Because on the bottom, that will give me what? The fifth root of x to the what? Fifth. You've got to remember your law of exponents. And what happens to the fifth root of x to the fifth? That cancels, and you're left with the fifth root of x cubed over x. All right? You try the last one. That's 1 over the fifth root of x cubed. 1 over the fifth root of x cubed. And this is a test question. These three, I do remember it being on the test. So make sure you know how to do them. So this is a good question. Multiply by the fifth root of x squared over the fifth root of x squared. And what will that give me on the bottom? The fifth root of what? X, x to yeah. the fifth. Fifth root of x squared. And that goes out. Get x on the bottom. Fifth root of x squared. So make sure you know how to do those, at least one of them, because if you can do one of them, you pretty much can do any of those. But I do like to put one that we went over. I haven't seen one yet. Where I've seen we've seen a couple the other day where they were in the numerator, but that's not what I want. I want the ones that are in the denominator. But there's one step above this one. Hopefully we'll see one today. Question, right, complaint. 
Okay. Hit, hit that. There we go. Nope. Okay, was that that one? Hmm. Yeah, that was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know how it, how it does things, so. Completing the square. Test question. Easy or not easy? Easy. Mm -hmm. So this is a number one or a number two. Let's do it. I'm going to give you a minute or two to do it. It's, I'll write it down for those who can't see it. X squared. Plus 4X. Minus 10 is equal to zero. And I want you to take it all the way out. We're going to take it all the way out. We're going to find, we're going to find the vertex. We're going to find the x-intercepts, the y-intercept. We're going to graph it, and we're going to do the domain and range. Now, everybody knows what the y-intercept is. What's the y-intercept? Negative 10. Good job. Somebody taught you that. Huh. Y-intercept. There it is, negative 10. So even if you don't know what you're doing, you can still find the y-intercept, right? Let me check my, let me check my handy dandy phone and make sure nobody wants to Skype in. Nobody's wanting to Skype in. So what are you going to do with the 10? Move it over. Move it over. X squared plus 4X plus blank is equal to 10 plus blank. 4 divided by 2 is what? 2. 2 squared is? 4. So you're going to put a 4 there and a 4 there. And that's going to give you shortcut number one on the left-hand side, which is x plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 14. So our vertex is what? Negative 2 comma what? Negative. 14, which is in quadrant what? 3. 3. So that's our vertex. We continue square root of 14. So that's going to be x plus 2 is equal to the square root of 14. Now, since I'm going to graph this, I'm going to go ahead and change it uh, to a decimal, but I'm going to do it at the end of the problem so we can get the answer to look like the answer they want. So here we go. x is equal to the square root of 14 minus what? 2. That's your answer. And you can rewrite that negative 2 plus square root of 14 negative 2 minus the square root of 14, because what's in front of any radical? Positive and what? Negative. So that's where you get the two answers. 
Now, I'm going to do square root of 14 in my head. Well, the square root of 9 is what? 3. Three. The square root of 16 <laughs> is what? 4. 4. 3.5 is in the middle. 9 to 16 is 7. Half of 7 is 3 and a half. So that's going to be 22.5. I'm sorry, 12.5. 12.5 is right there, so the square root of 12.5 is 3.5, so 3.75 is right here, and 12, I'll just say 13, 13, 16 is 3, 1 and a half is 14, so somebody check the square root of 14, I'd say it's around 3.8, 3.75 or 3.8, somebody check me. <laughs> Yes. Sorry. Good Somebody tell me what the square root of 14 is. 3.74. Good. I'm glad you used calculators much faster. Whatever. Spell mom backwards. X equals positive <laughs> or negative 3.8 minus 2. What's three dollars and eighty cent minus two dollars? <coughs> One dollar and eighty. Yeah. So that means reverse. <laughs> X intercept is 1.8. If you owe somebody three dollars and eighty cent, you owe somebody two dollars. What do you owe them? Five dollars and eighty cents. Five dollars and eighty cent. So there's our X intercepts. So I want everybody to sketch this graph. You got your X intercepts, you got your vertex, and you got your Y intercept. Graph it. Just draw two lines and graph it. Sketch it. Doesn't have to be on graph paper. <laughs> the negative 2, negative 14. Negative 2, negative 14. Way the heck down here. Uh, vertex, I mean, uh, y intercept is negative 10. Negative 5.8, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5.8 right there. And. 1.8, 1, 2, 3. So there is my parabola. Domain is equal to all real numbers because it's not a rational or a radical. It's x squared, so all real numbers is your domain. And from what? Negative 14 to infinity is your what? Increase. Is your range decreasing from negative infinity to negative 2 and then increasing from 2, negative 2 to what? Infinity. infinity. And that's what you should be able to do with any completing the square problem. If you can do all of that with completing the square, then you're good to go for my unit 1 test. Okay, because you know how to do completing the square. Now I don't expect everybody to be in this to be that way because I know that teachers hammer and hammer and hammer the quadratic formula and they don't teach completing the square. So I do realize that some of you or they have an introductory to completing the square and say, okay, you're never going to use this, and then you end up using it in college. Okay, so I'm going to be patient. And I'm going to keep answering these questions until they start fizzling out. Because that means that everybody's getting it. Now, if you're one of these people that don't do homework, then you're going to be SOL when I move on to the other stuff. So you do what you want. All right, so who's got questions? <coughs> don't be shy. Okay. Squeaky door gets what? The old. O-I-L. I don't pronounce O-I-L. I just I don't pronounce D-O-G either. I do when it's a Georgia game, but because I always get some smart ass to tell me I don't, I'm not pronouncing it right, so I don't need to hit anybody, so that's why I don't pronounce it. O-I-L. F-O-I-L. S-P-O-I-L. I do not pronounce those words. All right, so that's, did we just do that one? We just did that one, right? So let's do this one. 
I think we're starting to get into the ones I've already done. Okay, we've done that one. I'm I'm not used to this to this. That's my. I'm not used to it, so y'all just have to. Okay, this is the one I think we left off with in class the other day. Somebody tell me if we did. Okay, do this one. I want you to do everything. I want you to do completing the square, find the vertex, find the x-intercepts. The y-intercept is negative 4. And I want you to graph it. I want you to tell me the domain range, increasing and decreasing values. If you can't do that, just consider yourself what? A failure. I want failure. Failure, yeah. And you should probably quit school, you know, get your cardboard box and live in the ditch. Or live in a van down by the river. <laughs> down by the river. That's two of uh, uh, the my two two of my most favorite SNL skits. Is a van down by the river, and of course I need more cowbell. Those are probably my favorite two skits. I'm a motivational speaker. I live in a van down by the river. They made two of them. There was some. Yeah, I think they made two. They made two of those van down by the river. Oh, there, there was, was the several skits yeah. of Man Down by the River. What's his name? Nick Foley? Matt Foley. Matt the Foley. motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> but Cowbell would have not been funny if it hadn't been for Christopher Walton. I mean, he was hilarious in that skit. I've got a fever, and the only prescription... There's more cowbell. Some of y'all have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. And you know what? It's your parents' fault. Where whatever numbers you divided by two. My daughter knows what it is. Because I make my daughter and my son watch that stuff. So they can learn stuff. No, they do know Nick Foley and they do know my, my my daughter will get on Facebook and when she makes a bad grade she'll put up a cardboard box <laughs> or she'll put Squidward you know when Squidward decided he was going to go out on his own and he ended up in a cardboard box she'll put that picture up JC I like your sweatshirt I like your motivation JC I don't think they showed up for that game. No, they didn't care. They didn't care. They didn't give a rat's rear end whether they won that game or not. <laughs> you can tell when they played that game. Well, well there's always next year for the dogs. I know, I do. There's something about Georgia. I don't know what it is, but that come they choke. All the time they choke, whether it's Atlanta Braves or Atlanta Falcons or Georgia Bulldogs. That gun they choke. What, Georgia Tech? Georgia Tech. Don't hey, uh, hey, but Paul Johnson's leaving. They're going to get a Georgia new Georgia Tech is a community college. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> There's no I in team. Sixteen dollars. Just think, if he'd have stayed with it, he would have played Syracuse. Oh, future. Everybody wants it now. I want it now. I want it now. I don't want to see it. I don't want. I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> so I want it. <laughs> He's gonna go play for Missouri. Ooh. You know how many quarterbacks wow. have transferred in the past like week? Everybody. Crazy. X squared plus two X minus four is equal to zero. 
x squared plus 2x plus blank is equal to 4 plus blank. Okay, get your calculators out. What's half of 2? <laughs> 1. <clears throat> 1 squared, don't be like my neighbor. One, two, every, time, every time her daughter has a dadgum question on, she calls me, all right? And, and, and I had, now, now y'all listen to this. Some of y'all have heard this story that had me with the 109. So she calls me up, she says, you need to come and figure out what's wrong with this calculator. I paid 150 bucks for this calculator, blah, 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 blah. Daughters like in seventh grade or whatever, fifth grade, whenever they start with the idiot box, whenever they start y'all sucking on the, you know, the tip of the of the idiot box when they put you on that dependency program, um, <clears throat> she goes, I can't figure it out. And I look, I said, what what problem are you trying to do on the homework? And her daughter showed me it's one to the 29th power. <laughs> She said, I keep putting one to the 29th power and it keeps giving me one. <laughs> so how do you take care of that situation? What What is the best way to, to say, okay, you're, uh, you're challenged. <laughs> Shortcut number one, x plus one quantity squared is equal to five. So our vertex, and I'll go over here to where we can write, vertex is what? Negative 5 and, I'm sorry, is one, negative 1 and negative 5. Negative 1 and negative 5. Now I'm also, in blue, I'm going to write in an inter intercept form so y'all won't forget how to do that for your homework or test. I'm going to rewrite it as f of x is equal to x plus 1 quantity squared minus what? Five. 5. And I need everybody to make a note. What's that called? What kind of notation is that? Or what kind of form Intercept form. Intercept form. The test or the homework may ask you to put it in intercept form. That's an intercept form. I don't use it. I don't ever use it, but the book, test, web sign may ask you. Mr. Bohr, where are you? Okay, he's not here. Okay. I got an email from Mr. Bohr about web sign. I didn't know if he was here in class or not. Is he on that parole? Is he at Anderson campus? Y'all have to excuse me. I'm scatterbrained, so I think of things. Okay, he's at the dang old Bonaparte. Which one's Bonaparte? Right here. Novak. Which one's Novak? Which one's? Is that mm -hmm. Pendleton Campus? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Borg. Mr. Borg? Borg? Are you there? Okay, we'll forget him. I'll just <laughs> take it up with him later. All right, so got the vertex. Now let's solve it. Get our x intercepts. x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 5. x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5 minus 1. Okay, that's the exact answer. Boom, boom. All right, now I'm going to change it into square root of 5. Okay, square root of 4 is 2, so I'm just going to say it's 2.2. Somebody tell me what the square root of 5 is. 2.24. It's a miracle. So 2.2, 2, that's positive 2.2 2 minus 1, and a negative 2.2 2 minus 1. So you have $2.20. You give a dollar away, you got what? $1.20. So that's a that gum 1x intercept. You owe somebody $2.20. You go them a dollar, you owe them $3.20. So there's our two x-intercepts. So now we're ready to draw it. Here we go. So we got a negative 4 is our y-intercept. And our vertex is negative 1, negative 5. Negative 1, negative 5. And our x-intercept is 1.2. 
and negative 3.2. Okay, now the only thing that's in regards to the y to the y's is what? Your range. So domain increasing and decreasing is all x's. So domain is all real numbers because unless it's a radical or a rational, you're not going to have anything to affect the domain. Range is the y. Range is from our vertex, which is negative 5 to what? Infinity. <laughs> Increasing, y, x axis, or decreasing, sorry. Decreasing, because I read from left to right, like most of y'all do. Negative infinity to negative one. And then increasing from negative one to what? Infinity, Hubert. Thank you for the interaction. And that's how you do that. Yes, ma'am. Can you explain the decreasing and increasing? Yes. Just a second. I'm going to go to the screen. And I'm going to kind of draw something out here. Yeah. I actually want to Really? Screw that. Oh, really? Has it come out? Okay. Which way do we read? Left, left to right. right. Left to right, unless you're from the Middle East, my salama. That means going to Okay, my salama. If you read from left to right, the increasing and decreasing basically is based on think of a plane. Alright? When a plane comes in, what's it doing? It's decreasing. Then it gets to the point, and then it takes off, and it goes what? It's increasing. So basically, the increasing and decreasing is basically saying, okay, the plane's coming down. As far as the y, as far as the y values, what's happening with the y values when I, they're going down? Then what happens to the y values? They increase. Everybody with me? Okay. So, what is the only way to tell? where the plane is decreasing by the miles down here because you know it's doing what as far as the y-axis what is it doing it's decreasing so the y-axis is decreasing you know that but where is it decreasing well this daggum arrowhead down here that you learned back in second grade is called negative infinity this arrowhead right here is called what Positive infinity. So, from negative infinity to this point right here, I don't know where it is, let's say this point right here, it's decreasing. Okay? So, from negative 500 miles out, it's what? The plane starts its what? Descent. And then there's 50 miles out, 25 miles out, 30 miles out, or um, 5 miles out, and then doop, it touches down at zero or wherever it is. And then when it takes off at 500 feet, at a mile, at 200 miles, at 300 miles, at 400 miles, it's what? It's increasing. 400 miles is down here. The increase and the decrease and just tells whether it's ascending or descending. Okay? And the ascending is in your y values. So how do you measure increasing and decreasing? You measure it by the mileage, which is the x-axis. So from 
Negative infinity, and let's call this negative 1.5, okay, or negative 0.5, sorry. So from negative infinity to 0.5, negative 0.5, what is your plane doing? Decreasing. It's descending or decreasing. What is your plane doing from 0.5 to positive infinity? It's increasing. That's how you read increase and decrease. Think of it as a plane. And the only one that is in reference to the y-axis is the what? The range. So everything else is what? X-axis. Write that down. Range, domain. I need X values. Range, I need what? Y values. Increasing and decreasing, I need what? X values. So basically, the only one that you're going to use y values is the what? Is the range. But what do y'all do? Y'all break an anvil with a banana, and you try to put the increasing and decreasing in terms of y. So that's like saying, when does the plane, when is the 747 going to start its descent? So it's going to start its descent 500 feet in the air. How far out? Oh, we don't do that. We just do it by the y axis. Well, you've got to know where the 747 is going to start its descent. It starts its descent at what? Five miles out? Two miles out? But what if your runway is a mile long? Oh, we're going to start at 500 feet. 500 feet is where? 500 feet, let's say 500 feet is right here. Well, 500 feet, you can start it right here. 500 feet, you can start it out here. But what do you measure a descent on with a plane? If, you're, if your runway is a mile long, you're going to have to start your descent at at least what? Five or six miles. You see what I'm saying? You have to measure descent by miles. You can't measure descent by, by elevation. And some of you are going, women, what are you talking about? If your runway is a thousand feet or a mile or three miles long, you've got to tell the pilot to start their descent way before a mile or two down the road or before they get to the runway. So that is the x axis or the y axis? That's the x axis. So when you're talking about increasing and decreasing values, there ain't no x values. Because descent and ascent or decreasing and increasing, that's not a that's not a um, numerical value. You're just decreasing and then you're what? Increasing. Does that help? Dang old plane. Remember the plane. The plane. The plane. Where's that come from? Y'all don't know because your parents didn't teach you. Dang old fan midget. Is midget politically correct? No. Oh, I, hell no. I, I, I knew that. <laughs> little person. Uh, little person, okay. They are, they are, United uh, States of buttercups and pansies. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, buttercups and what are the snowflakes? They should change our names. Highly challenged. That's a good one. Height challenged? Is that what you called it? Yeah, they're Dang old elf. Challenged. Dang old called that guy an elf and he dang old body slammed it. Must be North Pole. South Pole. Body shame. Y'all remember that movie? Yeah. <laughs> well, I tried to get y'all off. Okay, y'all don't want to chase rabbits. We won't chase rabbits. There ain't no good movies on anyway. Movies suck right now. Yeah. Hey, hope. Have y'all seen the movie Replica? No. No. Okay, well, I've gone into the future and seen it. Because nobody says it hasn't even been out yet, but I've seen it. Dang old fire stick. Dang old in Australia or somewhere, I must have saw it. Ooh, have y'all heard right. of it? No. It's got Keanu Reeves in it, and he and he clones his family. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Have you heard of that yet? So, I, yeah, I told you, I come from the future. Oh, wait, yeah, I have heard of it. I have already yeah. seen the movie. It is a good movie. I'll watch. 
It comes out tonight. I've already seen it, man. <laughs> Why? Because I, dang old, dang old back to the future. <laughs> dang old DeLorean. Dang old Ram 3500. All right. Did you watch the mule when it came out? What'd you say? You watch the mule? Nah, I don't know if I like that one. I don't it. like to yeah. see my man yeah. hauling drugs. I don't like to see a man. I like to see him killing people. Oh, he kill people in the movie. He, like he doesn't kill anybody, but he he lives. He he goes into this drug lord's house and is treated. He's a player. Let me tell you, old Clint ah. knows what he's. Clint. He's I like Clint Eastwood, but I don't like to see him in that kind of movie. That's why I hadn't gone to see it. I like to I see him it. where he beats up thugs and beats up gang members. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Then go back and watch Good, Bad, and the Ugly. In the line. Uh, yeah. All right, that, that's a test question. We've already done it, but let's see how well you remember it. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> see if you can remember the shortcut. And I'm trying to waste time so I can let y'all go. Appreciate it. Please don't yeah. tell anybody I said that because I'll get a phone call in 15 minutes. <laughs> we can keep the cameras on. Tim Ross. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you get it on camera. Oh, I'm already on camera. <laughs> so, I'm going to write shortcut number what? Which shortcut is this? Shortcut okay, number five. You know, Miss, I, I tell you what, Miss Shuttleworth, you know these shortcuts. How do you know these shortcuts so well? Because you told us to memorize them. Good job. <laughs> You're supposed to say because you had a fantastic math teacher. That's what you were supposed to say. I but have forget an it. Extraordinary it's math teacher. Abuse, I know. A cubed minus B cubed is equal to A minus B times A squared plus A B plus B squared. Let me ask you this. Who in here had a math 109 teacher besides me? Okay, did y'all go over the shortcuts a lot? No, never heard, never. Of never heard of them. Okay. Thank you. Well, hopefully, hopefully I'm helping you out here. All right, so let's put this under this. 27s cubed minus 125t cubed. And I don't need, over here, I need a and b. I don't need a cubed and b cubed, so I'm going to take the cube root of everything. And that's going to give me a is equal to what? I'm asking y'all for feedback. I'm not. That's not rhetorical. Oh, sorry. See, a equals country, three S. Words. What? Three S. Three S. Good job. And what's B equal to? Negative five T. No, just five T. Remember, the minus tells you shortcut number four or number five. You're just finding B, okay? If it was a positive, then you use shortcut number four. If it's a negative, you use shortcut number five. You don't have to include that with the cube, okay? Now, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's still going to come out the same, but we're not going to worry about that. Now, I want you to take these two terms, and I want you to do what with them? Plug and chug. Plug and chug. Good job. So let's say I have no idea what to do, so I'm going to put parentheses minus parentheses times, and I'm going to say parentheses squared plus parentheses times parentheses plus parentheses squared. And I'm going to plug in 3s here, and a 5t here, and a 3s here, and a 3s here, and a 5t there, and a 5t there. Now, you should be able to get the correct answer just by doing that little bit of pre-algebra there. And if you can't, then you're just a disappointment. <laughs> and you should probably think about dropping out of school. <laughs> Did I tell you all about when I actually had somebody complain to the president about me telling them to drop out of school? What? <laughs> <laughs> the president laughed at him. Said he tells that all the students. <laughs> Good God, go get you a puppy and go in a closet. <laughs> or a pillow. What is it now? A pillow or a puppy? 
Which one is uh, it? That you both? It's called the crack closet. It's called the crack closet. These colleges uh, now, these liberal safe. colleges, they have crack hey, closets. That if you safe. get stressed or depressed, you go to this crack closet and they have a puppy or a pillow or and you can sit there and cry. Can I get a puppy? I want a safe space for only people in my room. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are the kind of people you just want to knock down when they're in the parking lot. I just swear. I swear. <laughs> Real, they have the best space for camp. We're only starting at this school. <laughs> Minus 5A, five 5T. Five Send them down to Paris Island. 9S squared plus 15ST plus 25T squared. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen on Facebook where this guy is going down the road and his dad is driving and he's like listening to his music on his phone and his dad swerves and it knocks his drink and Have y'all seen that? <laughs> Pretty funny, that. <laughs> that was my son. No, that wouldn't be my son. <laughs> Did you watch the Gillette commercial? No. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to lose my masculinity. <laughs> I put on Facebook the other day, I have come to the conclusion that a, a majority of the nation are basically is losing their damn mind. Okay? I'm, basically they are. I'm, I'm just, I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to stay on the farm order my stuff from Amazon, go to 24 <laughs> Angles, and I'm not going to associate with anybody because they're freaking crazy. They, they you, drone. you can have a drone to yourself. You don't have to come in contact with a, a human being. That sounds great. What's he talking about? Yes. <laughs> Is he talking about aliens? What is he talking about? <laughs> All right. Did y'all get that answer? Y'all should have got that answer. Hey, we need a microphone now. Yeah, y'all got a microphone. I can hear you. Y'all just mumbling. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, I had a I had a voicemail the other day that I had to send to the secretaries downstairs. I forwarded it to them, and I told them I said, if y'all can decipher this, please let me know. Be <laughs> clearly. I don't know who it was, and they didn't either. They laughed at it. They said. Is this a real voicemail? I said, yep, it's from a student. That's the only thing I can say. It's from a student. All right, yeah, anybody got any questions on that one? Okay. Looking at the questions that I see, I think we have covered a majority of the questions. Okay? Because these were sent on the 13th, and I've done covered those. And I've covered 14th. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. I don't know how to delete. There's no delete button, so... Hit the delete button on the keyboard. Say again? Hit the delete button on your keyboard. No. Yeah, that's okay. common sense. That don't work with WebSign. WebSign doesn't use common sense. <laughs> okay, so anybody see how to delete them? Let's see, select settings. items. Maybe in settings. Settings. Okay, anybody got any other broad ideas? Where's options? <laughs> rain dance. You can't erase it. You uh, have to pull a Hillary Clinton right. and just, I mean, you got no, to go to the line. Shut up. You do not say bad things about her. <laughs> she is an angel. She doesn't do anything wrong. I don't see it, so I don't know how to get rid of the debt plan. Anybody know? Scroll. Yeah. Yeah, we hit that. That absolutely has no. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is such an archaic. Oh. Oh, we are changing in the fall. We're changing books, and this is going to go to my labs plus. We're getting rid of this. We've been trying to get rid of this for six years. It's uh, if anybody knows how to, I, I can't, there's nothing over here that says, I don't know how to get rid of them. You can mark them as red probably. And then like, Could you mark them as red and maybe it'll go away? Oh, 
Does anybody else have any bright ideas? <laughs> Stop using webisodes. <laughs> See, I can't even. I can't even move them. This is. This is a waste of time. I've tried. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Open up one question. Oh yeah, maybe if you have to answer. Oh my God! You mean I gotta go through and do each one of those? Okay. Okay. All right. I've covered these questions. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to make sure you've gone through all three sections of review. If you've done all that, then come Tuesday, we're going to start into Unit 1, which is basically going to continue with what we're talking about here. All right? So with that being said, I'm going to – I'll just mark everybody here. I'm not going to worry about it. Y'all have a good day, good weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday.